Welcome everyone, Freedy here here, and welcome to today's Destiny 2 build variety video. Today's build will focus on a simple grenade build for PvP, which will allow us to make full use of our fast grenade regeneration and the avoided tournament of fusion subclass for the perk Mini Supernova. Our plan here will be to feed into our grenades with our perks, so we can then turn them into miniature supernovas via our subclass, and then get endless amounts of kills easily with them and generally spam the ability as many times as we get the chance to and thus rinse and repeat the process. All of this will be done via our exotic helm, primary and secondary, and some mods as well if you choose to. All of this combined will allow you to, well, it's pretty obvious, spam one shot grenades to your heart's content. So we'll first start with the subclass which will be the internment of fission tree line, which focuses on raw and destructive power. The main perks that will be of use here is dark matter, which provides ability energy back upon avoid ability kills, and handheld supernova, which allows us to change our grenade and turn it into a short range blast that will one shot anyone within our range. This will be combined with a grenade of choice being the vortex grenade which is great for locking down areas or control points or for weakening those for you to finish up if you can't convert your grenades in time. Of course you still have axiom bolts and scatter grenades as you can use that instead if you don't want to use the vortex grenades but it shouldn't really matter as you won't be using your standard grenades a lot in fact, it's primarily going to be handheld supernova 24-7 for the build. Now both have their advantages and disadvantages, so do play around with them as your choice might be better than mine. For our jump, we went with the burst glide jump, as going with blink would hurt us a lot in terms of moving about with our secondary and lack of accuracy. Our stats come to a 2-5-6, which is an ideal stat across the board to go with if you're playing in crucible or even PvE based content. For our armor, we are using a vast majority of skills that focuses on increased grenade regeneration. Our headgear will be the Exotic Helm Variety's Brow, which provides the following incentive perk, the 4th Magic, which states, End your weapon kills, boost grenade recharge rate for you and nearby allies. The perk is great if you have a fast or powerful energy secondary on hand, that you know you can pick up kills with easily and constantly feed grenades energy back into you and your teammates who are next to nearby. Although it doesn't give you a huge buff in terms of grenade regeneration, the amount you get back plus your kills can lead to getting back quite a decent chunk of energy to reuse your grenades over and over again, especially with this build and how it's laid out. This can be a game changer in some 6v6 matches as if you're a kill leader and you have your teammates who have say pulse grenades on small line closed maps, then you could by chance close off certain routes for the enemy players if coordinated well, and then force them into an area that they can't escape, and thus giving you a perfect opportunity to steamroll them. My secondary is an energy fusion rifle, so I have the one hit potential if the necessary bolts land on my target, but using a full auto sidearm or even a full auto energy auto rifle can net you probably more kills than just a simple fusion rifle can. So do play around with your options first. In the glove section, we have the impact induction, where causing damage with a melee can reduce our grenade's cooldown, while we also have the fusion rifle scavenger perk, where we can get bonus reserve ammo from green bricks we pick up. Impact induction combined with our subclass atomic breach and dark matter perk can allow you to initially one-shot players if, and I mean if, you already weaken them, to net you a nice juicy amount of grenade energy back to our class. Fusion Rifle Scavenger is always needed perk in Crucible or even PvE, as it allows you to gain more ammo back from green bricks once picked up. In the Crucible, if you're going to be using a Fusion Rifle, it's very much recommended as a perk to have as you only start off with 2 rounds in the magazine, so always having a chance to get more ammo upon collection is always welcoming. Our chest now has Unflinching Fusion Rifle, which reduces the flinching received while firing bat at a target and hand cannon reserves. Unflinching is another skill I personally believe you should have, especially for your fusion rifle, because of how brutal your flinch can be when firing back at others. At times you'll be able to land a one hit kill KO from time to time, but other times, which is 95% of the time, you'll whiff your shots and miss your target completely. This perk can help, but it won't outright get rid of the flinch for fusions. Our boots have the bomber perk, which reduces your grenade cooldown upon class ability usage. This will pair well with our Helm, Subclass and Demolitionist perk to allow us to use our grenades more often. Lastly, our class item has Innovation perk, which reduces your grenade cooldown every time we pick up an Orb of Light, 
and we also have a ordnance mod that can aid in reducing our grenade cooldown if we were to be passive or if we stacked at least another 3 to 4 more ordnance mods. This mod isn't really needed as we get plenty of grenade energy back as we play, but if you want to have handheld supernovas at your disposal much more faster than normal and what I have, then I advise you to stack at least 3 to 4 ideally. Our armor pieces are now fully in check, and as long as you have the same following perks on your armor as I do, then your weapons can be down to your personal preference. But please do remember, you'll need at least a mass work weapon to produce an orb of light, so that it can work with your innovation perk constantly. Now, in my first weapon slot, I went with the All Stringer hand cannon, which is a 140 hand cannon and quite a refreshing hand cannon to use on console, with its very predictive recoil. The weapon's stats is very good across the board, allowing it to be a 3 tap weapon via 1 headshot and 2 body shots. My perks don't seem that great to be using for PvP, as most players would have a version with Rampage, Eye of the Storm, Drop Mag, etc. Something that focuses on allowing you to net more kills quicker. But my perks that I currently have work well still in PvP, as Substance basically reloads my weapon as long as I get kills with it, for the trade off of less reserve ammo. And then Demolitionist generates grenade energy upon kills with the weapon I use, and reloads the weapon from your reserves ammo if you activate your grenades. They both work well into each other, and the lack of reserve ammo is not much of an issue since the crucible drops plenty. Plus, the stats are already great on the weapon, so you're still going to be netting kills from left to right with ease, even if you don't have a Godfall version. My secondary now is the Epicurean Fusion Rifle, fully masterwork, with a range masterwork, and attached with a hipfire grip mod to increase accuracy when hip firing. The weapon comes with a particle repeater, which increases our stability by plus 10, quick draw, which allows us to draw our weapon much faster than normal, and moving target, which increases movement speed and target acquisition when ADSing and moving. So I wanted to try this weapon out quite badly when I saw how available it was in game, and the weapon is quite a beauty once you get the idea of perks for it, but it's also quite a odd weapon at times. Now, one thing I know is that sometimes when I fire a shot from a weapon, and it potentially hits a target, sometimes it won't kill them in one shot, unlike other fusion rifles I used, while other times I can literally go on a killing spree with a weapon because of how much range and stability this bad boy is rolling. I don't know if this is more of me thing, but I have a feeling it might have something to do with this frame being a precision frame, so shots are more vertical to aim with. Anyways, its stats across the board is very nice for a fusion rifle out of the bag, except for its charge time at a whopping 740 and the reload speed at a 33. You really, really have to pre-charge this weapon before you engage into a fight, if you want to get those sweet, sweet one-shot kills from a distance. Plus, against other fusion rifles like Eviental now, you will be outshot many times. This weapon for me personally is great for getting grenade energy back quickly and also will give me another route for shutting down players both in and out their supers. But I do recommend that you play around with this weapon first because when you use it you might not be able to land most of your shots when you expect it to do so. I've noticed that this weapon here is the only fusion rifle where I land a whole bolt against a player and it won't kill them outright. While if I was to go ahead and use my Oriental for example, or generally any other fusion rifle, 9, nine times out of 10, I, I'm always guaranteed to land a one hit kill. While the Epicurean is one of those weapons where even if I do land all my shots, or if I miss just one bolt, for some reason it doesn't kill them, which is odd. Very odd. Okay, and lastly, my heavy slot is the fixed odd head machine gun with AP rounds, no distraction, and rampage. Basically, I got lucky and managed to get a near god rolled weapon, although its mass work is range, which I don't need for this weapon personally. If I had stability, then yeah, a perfect god roll weapon to have. I also have a backup mag mod on the weapon to increase how much ammo I can carry in the magazine, and then my reserve, which you want to have fully maxed out. This build is perfect for the Crucible if you just want to have a setup designed for non-stop grenade spam that can one-shot players in and out of the super, while also mapping people with a very unique look and fusion rifle. The mere simple fact that you can get your grenades back within a few seconds of throwing them 
but actively using your secondary can lead to some very fun and epic moments if you stay on top and stay active. The Exotic Helm seems to give back around 10% grinning energy, and the Demolition Perk the same. With the subclass ability Dark Matter seems to boost this up as well, and then I can speed this up even more by collecting most of light for the Innovation Perk to kick in, and generally use my ability as a whole thanks to the Bomber Perk. Might not seem a lot once you play around with it, and if that's the case then I advise you to add on another audience mod of 3 to 4 to see how much more it might actively change in terms of the generation speed for the area. For me, this build is quite fun, although annoying at times because of my secondary of choice, when sometimes it works and other times it just doesn't work. When it works, I can wipe out groups of players effectively for close to mid-range engagements as no one can challenge me up front as they can either be rooped away before they can get to me, or I use my handheld supernova to usher them away. The choice is always yours. Medium range engagements is where my hand cannon can come in and make little work of players while activating my perks to allow me to give my grenades back faster, and my longer distance engagements will be covered by my heavy, if I ever get any. Now the only downside I see with this build at times is the map I play on, based on my loadout. Although I've covered the three main engagement points that is ideal for a Crucible player to be basically running, I will still get outgunned or outplayed on the long range maps that favour snipers or scout rifle users. I also have to worry about those that use SMGs or even sidearms up close, as my future rifle charge time is abysmal, and the reload speed can get me killed more times than I can count. And then we have the roaming super users who will always be a problem no matter what the build is or what my loadout is designed around. But luckily for me, I can counter that if I use my supercharged grenades to fully hit them with, and then finish them with my fusion or even a melee. But that's if I can do it in time before they either A, spot me, or B, kill me. But for a build that can make you a walk in hell of supercharged grenade spams, it does bring a fresh air of playstyle to play in and try to master around in case of a major meta change up. So that comes to the end of the build video for this week. If you enjoy the content and would like to see more like this in the future, then please leave a like, a sub, or even share with others who may be interested in the loadout. But once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.